Hello and welcome, my name is Parky, and today I'm playing some more Castle Story. Meet me back where I am feeling very ill, so excuse any nasally sounds that may occur in this video. However, since last time, not much has happened. We've got a wave starting in just under 30 seconds, so it might be a good idea to recall all workers. What we've done is, we've started building up this wall over here. Now, this is actually going to provide us enough protection for this wave, if corruptions even come from this direction. If they don't then it doesn't really matter anyway. We're not really anywhere close to another spawning of a warrior or whoever. We're going to grab these guys back, and for some reason, if they're on the mining task, they just don't seem to want to come home. But it's okay. Right, so where is this wave coming from? We've got five minutes until the next one. It's probably going to be up here, isn't it? No? Okay. Where are they? Oh, they are over this side. Well, that's going to make things really difficult. Okay, well, what we're going to do then is we're going to have a nice sort of V-shape going on. Because they're going to have to break through this wall, which is going to take them a little bit of time. We're going to have two arches over here in a V-shape. Three over in this direction, like this. I want to minimise that crossfire again, if I can. We're also going to have one in the middle with Blug. Maybe we'll get Blug here as well. And Ralph can move over a little bit. Because I suppose the one good thing about having this wall behind them is that if they do get hit, then they're not going to be knocked far back. We're also then going to have Bank back here and also Peter back here. These are going to be like the last resort knights. Now you could argue that actually we're going to be fine. Are their AIs derping slightly? It looks like they can't tell how to get round here. They're all standing still. Oh no, here we go, they're sort of moving very slowly towards us. Well, if we can imagine sniping them off just before they get to the wall, that would be incredibly helpful. I think we're going to have a bit of problem sniping them before they get to the wall, though. Not that it really matters. Again, it's going to be a delay mechanism. They're going to have to break through this wall slightly. Annoyingly, they're going for the extreme sides of this, which is making it a bit difficult for me. I'm going to have to repair this as soon as we get a chance. It's quite a few big Corruptrons, but hopefully with this nice sort of archer line here, we're going to be fine. I say hopefully. By the time they get here, though, we're going to have a few problems. So maybe what we should do is just get these two back onto the mining task. Because mining is probably going to be a good idea in the meantime. At least we can get a few bricks back. A couple of these guys maybe could be building something behind the scenes. But, you know, it's okay. We're going to be fine. I think this is all of them, pretty much, at the wall here. One of them has just got a bit lazy. And he's, he's just watching. He's the commander. Watching from the back, back lines. Okay, if we press delete quickly, we'll get rid of all the ammo they could possibly throw at us. It seems like a good line. We're Obviously, these guys have got a lot of health, but we should have enough archers to take them down fairly effectively. Okay, Peter, don't get excited now, friend. So what we can do now is we can get all three of these guys back onto their construction task. One of these needs to go, I think, again onto the mining task. We need three on here, really, at all times. One of these could start building some more stockpile space. We could do some more of this, because a lot of it's being used for random... Uh, like yellow powder and blue powder. Actually, we don't even have any blue powder yet, do we? It's a bit irritating. Well, either way, it doesn't really matter. But what we are going to do is we're going to get back onto our construction task, because we're going to need to repair a few of these bits of wall out here, which is not making things particularly easy for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down a single block down here like that. Then we're going to need a double block, like so, with another double block, and then on this side, we need to replace a lot of this wall. Unfortunately, a lot of it got taken down. Not that there's really much we can do about it. We've built it in the best way possible. And actually, I think it's going to be pretty difficult for us to actually reach the other side of the wall. But it's okay. I mean, well, it's not really okay. I can't really lie about this. It's going to be a bit tricky if they're going to keep battering down our wall and we have no access to this other side. But you know, it's, it's okay. The, the chances are that they're not going to attack this side of the wall again anytime soon. So hopefully... Now that we've got access up to the top of this staircase level here, we should be okay. Now, one other thing that I need to do is I need to start building a slightly more protected central area, as well as also protecting some of these other sides. I think next up we're going to go for this one. It's going to be quite a big gap to try and bridge, but I think we can probably do our best, maybe going across something like this. And we want to have a V-shape going maybe something like that, because then archers can hit from all directions, which sounds like a good idea to me, at least in practice anyway. I'm not sure whether it's actually going to be good in real life, but we're going to soon find out about that sort of thing. I don't know whether we need to actually build around this side here. We probably do, don't we? Maybe we don't. Well, we, look, let's just figure out how much of this we actually need to fill in, because the chances are we won't need to put that many down. Okay, so we're going to need a couple of small bricks there. It's going to be a bit of resource-heavy uh, build-off here. We're going to have a lot of bricks going into this wall, and it's only going to be one thick, so, I mean, realistically, it's not even going to protect that much. 
there's not much we can do about it. Again, it's just dealing with what we have. So we need a couple of small half bricks like that, and then some bigger bricks on top, with them crossing over like this. Oh god, is it time for the other wave again? Oh yeah, because we only had like three minutes, didn't we? Oh my god, why is this taking... This, this is getting difficult now. Let's recall all workers. We're going to get another archer. I think we can only spawn in one more guy, so we're going to keep him maybe over here. I suppose it doesn't really matter where we put them. We, we don't know where they're even coming from yet. Gabriel, come on now. And are these guys mining still? It looks like they're still mining. We lost some workers. Where have they gone? I have no idea. Okay, where are they coming from? There's one over here. It doesn't look like they're coming from this direction. The quicker I can find them, the better. Alright, okay, so they're all over here. Which means they're going to take bloody forever to walk around. But they're going to be coming from this direction. So we're going to get a sort of fairly similar thing going on down here. We're going to have a sort of wall of archers. All firing, hopefully not at each other, would be preferable. We're also going to have one over here. We're going to grab a couple of these. Tau can stand over here. We're also going to bring Bulg slightly forwards like this. I suppose that's okay. It doesn't really matter too much. We're also going to get this guy to move forwards. I just want to minimise the amount of crossfire because you lose more archers through crossfire than anything else, which is absolutely stupid. So we're going to go for this. Oh god, are the guys being attacked in the mine? Well, why, why are they still in the mine? The game shouldn't be allowing them to be mining at this point in the game. Oh my god, crossfire. What the hell is going on? Come on, Snoro. Even if we can manage to s save one of you. That's really irritating. The game really doesn't do its job when it's, like, stopping you from... Oh god. You know, I'm not even going to get into it because we all know how irritating it is. One of these guys has already been taken down. These knights are rushing forward, which is probably going to be the death of them. Unfortunately, there's a lot of rocks being thrown around. I can clear these up by pressing delete, but there's only so much of this that we can do. We're going to take a bit of a battering now. Maybe we need to get away from these guys. That might be a good game plan, right? Okay, so if we bring all these archers back over here, hopefully they won't fire on each other. Maybe we can minimise that slightly by bringing them over here. And then bank... Bank, yeah, maybe actually we can attack these. Okay, Bulg, move away. Peter and the other guy, again, why are you standing there? Please, for God's sake, Bank, move away. And then we're going to bring Flute around this side so we can actually snipe this guy. It seems like his AI has derped slightly. It's okay, he's just taking the beating. Right, okay, things are getting a bit more tricky now. I've only got three minutes until the next wave's coming in. I've also only got a certain number of these guys, who are currently on a construction task but not doing anything. We're going to need a couple of these guys on the mine as well. I feel as though maybe I need to start investing in some more Brickton's to build things. But at the same time, we're losing so many of our Brickton defenders that it's not even worth it, is it? We should probably get some more archers. It just gets difficult. We've got Blutch down here. I suppose actually we do have three miners and two construction people. Two construction is probably enough for now. The problem is with this game, since they've added in the mechanic of the projectile weapons for the Corruptrons, it makes it incredibly more difficult to defend anything. So you can build walls and everything, that's fine. The Corruptrons, it'll slow them down, but you can't put archers on top of the walls because they'll just be knocked down. So, realistically, there's not much you can do to defend against anything. Maybe it's just because I'm a noob. And I don't know what I'm doing, but maybe also the developers need to have a little look at how they can make it a bit fairer on the projectile side. I know you can press delete, but it doesn't stop them from throwing projectiles in general. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do. We can keep pumping resources into these outer walls, and maybe put a couple of these guys on top of them. But at the same time, it's not really going to slow the corruptions down if they just throw a single projectile, and then all the wall defences are gone. Oh, this is so frustrating. Okay, we're going to put a couple of archers up there. Again, there's not really much point in us even having archers on a single wall if they're all going to pour from one direction at a time. Which also makes it more difficult to deal with. Because if all of the corruptions were coming split up into smaller parties, you could just have a couple of archers and that probably do. Okay, well, work has started on this other big wall over here. Whether or not we should actually just focus on this central tower in making this three thick, it might be a better idea. I think, considering we can spawn in a couple more guys, I think we're going to have a couple of archers just standing on standby over here. Standing on standby. A couple on this side as well. Bobo and Flute, or whatever your name is, Blug. And then maybe we should get in another constructor. Another worker. Okay, let's do that. That seems good. Pepto. 
Pepto Pepto. Right, what we're going to do then with Pepto is we're going to get him to start constructing some more stockpile space because I think this is actually causing a few problems with us. I think we need a bit more space here just so that we can put down a lot of these things. Oh my god, see what I mean? We've, it's already another wave. Three minutes is not enough time in between each wave. Maybe I'll go for easy mode next time. This is a bit ridiculous, to say the least. Okay, well, let's recall all the workers. By this logic, if you've only got three minutes in between each wave, you either need to invest all of your resources into workers building up defences so you can actually build something in three minutes, because three minutes is not a lot of time, or you invest... Oh, God, they're all coming from this direction, so we're going to need all forces over here this time. Dare one. And also flutes we're going to bring over here. And then these two I suppose we can put on here. These guys are just going to get hit down instantly, even if we can get a couple of shots off beforehand. I suppose that would be moderately useful. I think this is going to be the end of us again. As I was saying, you can then invest all of your money, all your time, into getting blue crystal. And therefore more uh, archers and things like that. But then, realistically, how far is that going to get you? Let's just get rid of all their rocks so they can't snipe us down easily. Okay, we're taking out quite a few from this direction before they even get near us, which is quite good. We're also going to keep pressing delete to get rid of their capability of using rocks as projectiles, which I think sounds like a fantastic idea, because why the hell would you even want that? Okay, they're actually climbing up the wall surprisingly quickly. Is there like a little staircase up there? I think... Oh, what? This guy died? Who killed him? Was that friendly fire? Oh, well, this is just silly, isn't it? Why do I put myself through this torment game? Why do I do it? Every time I lose anyone, it makes me really angry. I think it's because I'm so invested in the characters. They give them all these lovely names like Duan and Flute and Bobo. Bobo is my favourite at the moment. But then when they die, that's it. They're dead forever. It's you're, like you're losing a friend. Okay, well, we've got three big guys here. We're probably going to lose a few of our archers. Seems like they're a bit confused as to which side to attack, because, well, this one's just doing a, a walk back and forth. We're also going to get another delete in here, just to get rid of some of these projectiles on the floor, because the small guys are just bloody irritating when it comes to attacking us with those. we we'll have to kite them around a little bit. See if we can run around quickly. It's going to be difficult. There's a lot of things that can go wrong with this, especially when the warriors... I know they're doing their duty of running in there as quickly as they can, but really, it makes it just difficult for us in general. Well, it seems like we've tricked his AI now into just spazzing out, so that's fine. Easy to defend when they don't even know where they're walking. So let's get these guys back onto a construction task. For some reason, I can't even select this one. What is going on? Lots of bugs still, I think, is to be is fair to say. So th this is what I mean. Like, maybe there should be, like, a feature where once a wave has started, so once the corruptions are on the map, it doesn't start the timer until the next wave, until you've defeated all of the corruptions. Now I know that you could maybe use that as an exploit, or an exploit, depending on how you put the emphasis on the wrong syllable, but yeah, I, th I think there needs to be a bit more like thought put into how the timer works. There's no way we can get enough done in between waves like this. I think we're just going to need to maybe Keep all of our archers in one place so we can set them up fairly easily when the next wave comes. Now, just because I think we're pretty screwed either way, I just want to double check what this button does, because if this actually extends or shortens it, then it's going to be worth it. No, it does start the wave instantly. Right, well, that was probably not a good thing to do, but at least we now know for certain that's what this button does. God knows why you'd even want to start it, like, prematurely. Maybe once you're all set up and you don't care about, like, how much time you have anymore, because your defences are so good that you're that confident. We are certainly not at that point in time yet. Now, where are these coming from again? They're coming from up here. Okay, well, I think it was a fairly good idea having a couple of archers up in this place because it gives them a way to snipe off even just a couple before they manage to get over here. So we're then going to use our V-shape again. If we can spawn in any more of these guys in the meantime then that's going to obviously be helpful to us. To us? God, this cold is completely screwing up my voice. I don't know whether you can tell but I'm even more useless at talking than normal. Okay, let's keep pressing delete like a madman so they can't fire anything at us. At least we're taking out a few of them, doing a little bit of damage before they even get to the wall. It would be nice to get this wall fixed before they get to it, but there's no way that we can do that very easily, so screw you guys. We're actually going to bring this guy down now, Darwin. if we now press delete a few more times. Okay, this one actually got hit off the world, which is probably not a great thing. Oh my god, they're completely owning us! 
Even with this wall defense, it doesn't do anything. Okay, well at least we, we can shoot them before they climb fully over. That's one good thing about this situation. Okay, Duan, come on now. This guy's just standing over here like an idiot. I think the workers should have the ability to attack as well. Like, even if they just do minimal damage and it's melee, it'd be better than them just doing nothing, I think. Okay, guys, you might not want to stand next to him. And also, I think it seems a bit silly that the knights can only take one hit before they die from the big guys. Realistically, I think that the knights should be able to take at least maybe three hits from the big guys, the big Corruptrons, because otherwise, what's the point of having melee combat? I mean, yeah, you can use them against the smaller Corruptrons, but it doesn't really make much sense. Okay, well, this seems like a good place to leave today's episode. My voice can't take much more, unfortunately. Hopefully, I'll be better before the next time. But if you enjoyed it, then please feel free to leave your support in the comment section below. Please leave ratings and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.